Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of La Plata, where guys, we are going to be continuing our war with the epic Colombians. Yep, the epic war with Colombia, where basically we can't get any of our troops across the ocean because of reasons. Okay, for some reason you guys weren't moving last episode, so I'm going to make sure you guys move. Okay, yeah, anyways... Oh, and there was also a little concern that people were wondering why am I not building any factories yet and built anything. Well, I'm going to have to wait until I have a little bit more power. Or at least a little bit more money, because right now my situation is a little bit hectic. And I need to... I need to kind of deal with our money situation. And once our money situation is good, then we can, like, continue and do stuff. Anyways, I also was going to comment that I think I'm going to try to sphere a little bit more of these, uh... African states, that way I also get one, I also get a little bit of a better colonial range over here. So that if I want to colonize any of this, I can. Because, honestly, I looked at all of what we can produce right now. We're going to need so much. Like, our government is going to be basically made up of, um, yeah, everyone go right there. Um, our government is based, uh, basically our RG output is basically going to be made up of a lot of stuff that we really are going to, we really are going to need to either conquer from Brazil or from Africa. We're going to have to use one of those two places to try to get what we need. And most likely Africa is going to be our most likely place because I really don't want to go up too much more into Brazil. I really don't want the Amazons. Oh look, the socialists rat risen up. Okay, never mind. Everyone go hunt down the socialists because the socialists are evil. They annoy me. Oh look, they built a little tiny army over here. How cute. They really think they could take me on now, now that I am basically the power of the world. Ah, uh, cute guys, cute guys. Okay, and let's see. We have Duggins now finished. Uh, what do I want to work on next? No, actually, this would be really nice to have, but... Um... Supply output... I probably should get some of this. Um... No, actually, militaristic statistics, because I seriously want to get my army conscription a little bit up. Plus, my army consumption, once it goes down a little bit, will be nice. Like, that would seriously be nice. Uh, hey, wait. What are you doing? Go back down here, kill all these men, and then you guys can go back up here. Okay? Jeez. I don't want these rebels to start spawning, like, 100k guys. Seriously. That will become insanely annoying for me. Like, insanely annoying for me. And let's see, we have a insanely annoying little ship battle here going on. Let's go, let's go help these guys out. And boom. Boom. Oh, look at the, those little two transports. Oh, those little two transports. Oh, look at them. Look at them. They're so cute. They're trying to fight us. Oh, okay. Let's go right here. Uh, squish this army. Once we go squish this little tiny 2k stack, then we'll move out of our country. Go start sieging up our good friends, the... The Colombians. Looks like oh, looks like Chile's already doing that for us, and we won that battle for them. We're also gonna go down here, and yeah. I mean, let's see. I don't know where this Colombian 26 death stack is gonna go, but if they don't start heading back to their country quickly, I'm gonna start sieging it up, and I'm gonna siege it up very effectively. Let's see. All three of these armies are like, yep, we're gonna kill them, kill them, and let's see. And we are. I'll also be focusing on my natural folk guy right now, which we're completely done with the natural clergyman. So, in our top three regions, well, actually, the top three most industrialized regions, I should say. Top three most industrial. Oh, by the way, close this. Top three industrialized regions, we should be encouraging uh, immigration. Because we want to make sure that these regions keep being our most immigrated powerhouses. Because right now, we don't, we don't have a lot of immigration happening right now, which really does stink, but it's mostly because we're at war, and war is not a good, conclusive time for people to be like, yeah, let's totally go to this country right now. It would be a great idea. Even though the war is mostly being fought up in the north, and really, nothing's nothing's coming down here in nice, nice, relaxing Chile. It's just more of a precaution for most people. I mean, would you really want to be in a country that could, that's potentially at war almost every two years? Be a living spot? Oh, wow. You made this insanely easy for me, Chili. Wow. I was going there anyways, but you made it like... Oh, wow. I won't be able to kill these guys, but I'll be able to route them pretty easily. All right. Everyone on the ships, go now to uh, this land right here of Katkuda. We're going to land there. 
We're going to have our troops there, and we're going to start having fun there. So we can start having troops actually go there. Ooh. And now let's see. I wonder if these guys are ever going to be able to defeat me. My guess, no. Army conscription finally done, so... Hmm. What else do I need right now? No, yes, this. In organic chemistry. In organic chemistry would be really nice technology right by now. Holy shoot! Oh shoot! Uh, everyone get everyone get on the land. Everyone get on the land. Oh wait, wait, what is that made up of? I saw I saw a different type of ship. It it looked like a big army. Wait, what was that made of? Wait, can I see what it's made of? Six six. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it was a good idea that I landed my troops very quickly. Okay, and then you guys go back all the way home. Let's see, I think you guys are returning home because you realize there's siege lands. Let's see, and we just finished up with our spearing. Huzzah! Let's finish up now. The Wari people are cordial with us. That is good. That is good. For us to be able to annex them later, they must be happily... Must be happy with the arrangements of our empire. Now let's see, we mostly own the British Bank. The British Bank. We owe the British Bank. This is great timing, people. I mean... Who would not love to owe the British the British Bank? Okay, let's see, move right here. And it seems like Chile, is Chile going directly to the capital? Oh, the Minji Restoration! Okay, everyone, everyone, place your bets. Do you think it's going to be Shogunate, or do you think it's going to be Imperial? Alright, everyone place your bets. Good. Okay, I say it's Imperial, and if I'm right, all you owe me five bucks. Everyone who is viewing this episode owes me five bucks, okay? Yeah! Alright! I'm gonna become like a rich man tonight. <laughs> you all owe me fire. Pay up, pay up, everyone. Pay up right now, right now. Everyone pay up. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Don't actually do that, people. I actually don't. I actually do not want any type of. Ah. Oh. Really? Huh. I didn't actually think there was a rebel movement strong enough to even try to oppose me, but apparently there is. Now, now let's see. Let's go right here. Yeah, they're gonna siege up pretty quickly. Yeah, the Colombians are definitely moving past. I'm gonna kill off all these guys and then I'll start. Jacobson. Oh, oh look at that little Jacobson rebel. No, go right here. Jacobson rebel. Those are, those look at those little Jacobson rebels. They're like, I'm gonna defeat you. And I'm like, oh, so sure you are. Sure you are. Okay. Um, and right now we're completely sieging up all their lands. Now there really isn't too much to be worried about right now. I don't see. I don't think the army, the army's going to take a little bit longer to arrive. But then once the army arrives, I'm going to go kill it so that we don't have to deal with that. So let's see, let's just keep sieging up all this land. Let's see, you guys finished up there. Get back over here. And we're going to transport you guys all the way to the new land. That way we can use it for our benefits. Yes, go right here. Let's hope, let's hope those Colombian, I'm watching those Colombians. Where are they moving to? Where are they moving to? Hopefully they won't... Ooh. Ooh, wow, they seize back quick. Okay, go back here, go right here, then go right there. Because we want to make sure we kill these guys. But they see... Wow, they seize back really quick. Ooh. Dang, that's a siege quick. Okay, let's hope my... Let's hope my ships will be able to make it to the... New World without dying. I'm really kind of hoping. Southern Serbia is having difficulties, apparently. Uh, who's going to support the Serbians? Will be mighty Russia or will be nobody? Oh no, it is Portugal. Port wait, wait, no, it's not Portugal. Belgium. Belgium's the one who's supporting the Serbian independence. When did Belgium become a... I, I really shouldn't ask questions like that. Okay, quickly, get inside. Get inside. Get, get my troops on it. Get the troops on, on land. Before those other ships. Okay, good. Okay. Wait, do I not have troops on... Ah! Barnacles. Okay, everyone go back. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gearing up for this, like, epic, for, like, not making sure my troops would not die, but apparently they didn't need to. Okay, let's see. Uh, it's just scientific management I want now. That way we can start managing our scientific advancements into the future. Future, future. Bolivian nationalists are now starting to spring up everywhere. Uh, no, it's actually a good thing I have this army over here. Uh, they're not, the Bolivian Nationalists aren't going to succeed, people, but I want them to think that they're going to succeed. Okay. And basically what I'm doing is I'm exiling, I'm exiling them from their own country. 
Hopefully they don't have access to Brazil, because then I could just keep them right here, and they really can't do anything. While Colombia and some more of my troops go seize up the rest of the land. Yeah, you guys, please go kill that 18 death stack. Kill that 18 death stack. I don't like that 18 death stack. Okay, let's see. A lot of my factories are just closing down right now, but that's mostly because I don't have... Well, my economy is not exactly the greatest right now. I'm not going to deny that. Okay, so let's see. You guys are going to siege up all this land. That's fine with me. If you guys want to go siege up that land, that's fine. I don't really care. But we need to make sure that we keep me and the Chileans are keep sieging up your land so that we can start getting that luxurious ticking war score, which I love right now. So I'm going to move my troops out of here. Maybe you guys might come back and maybe we'll fight each other again, which would be nice. Alright, if you guys move down here, I do have an army basically stationed right there. Hey! Oh, and then there's this army that apparently went all the way down from over here in my empire to over there in my empire. Good job, guys. <laughs> I'll give you credit. That was a good job. Let's see. Wari, let's see. Increase it. So now, ah, uh, yay. Wari is now friendly with us. Good job, everyone. They are now friendly people. Those, those... Those, the Awari tribe is now friendly with us. That's a good sign. That's a good, good sign. Okay. Let's see. Now, you guys go crush these guys. We're going to go right into there. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to have to really industrialize a lot of this area. Because it's really hard to walk through. But, uh, let's see. How are we doing over here? Seems like... No! No! Whew! Almost clicked that button, everyone, which a splendid idea basically means I go bankrupt again, and that, that would have been bad. <laughs> that would have been seriously bad if I went bankrupt right about now. Like, seriously, that would have been insanely bad. Okay. I suggest you run. Like, I suggest you seriously run. I'm sending men to go literally kill you. If you're not going to run, you're going to die. And, okay, if you want to die, be my guess. I, I really don't care, but I'm just saving you guys trouble, like, Men wise, trouble. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's go right here, Calcutta. I think this region right here should be really easy to seize because it seems really easy. Um, we just, I think we just destroyed the army right here. We're sieging back all this land. Yeah. The Colombian War is now basically in our favor. Um, apparently our vassal allies something like cut down the size. Colombian cut down the size. Don't really want that. I just want them to be occupied by me. Because I don't really want them to be weak. I want them to be like a good, healthy puppet vassal. Because if they're a good, healthy puppet vassal, then they can help me come fight wars and help deal with my rebel problems. Of course, then they also have their own rebel problems. But still, it's still a worthwhile enterprise. Okay, so let's see. What else would we want? You know, I probably could get army organization or... Well, let's get some iron factories. I want my capitalists to be doing something right now. I want them to start building up my areas. Alright, and let's see. We're just sieging up all this land very, very casually. Not very, not much resistance anymore because I think we basically killed all the resistance. And definitely going into debt. Definitely going into debt again. This usually happens a lot of the time, so I'm not really too, too shocked. And as you can see... The Chileans are moving in. I think they're going to go finish up and go conquer Pestelo. And then they're going to come back up and go do this. So they're basically leaving us to go conquer all this part. Which is fine by me. I don't mind conquering all this. Because once we own this, we basically own the Suez Canal. Which means we basically have two ways to get across our empire. This way and this way. Which means we, we basically, in terms of trade value wise, that's a big booster to us. Because that means we basically own the only two ways across America. Imagine that people, we would own, imagine if this would really happen in real life. There's only two ways to get, there's only two ways to get from Europe to Asia. There's either the land way, which is very long and tedious, or there's the sea way, which is through America, which is two ways, there's either through Panama, or you can go through and go all the way like this, all the way to Asia. Well, and I guess there is technically the way of, you go across the tip of Africa, then you go across here, then you go across there, then you go across there, and you go... All the way over there. But for the sake of arguments, there's two ways. <laughs> we'll basically own one of the most important way we'll basically own almost an entire monopoly on one of the ways to um, to Asia from America, and that's really that, that seems like it would give us a lot of power, like seriously. Tax reform, raise the flag! Yeah, tax reform would be really nice right about now. 
considering our economy is, you know, not doing the best. But, like I said, this is entirely worth it. Let's see, we have Panamanian Rebels. Well, as much as I love you guys, I'm going to have to kill you because I don't want to have Rebels in my country. Well, technically this isn't my country, but this will soon be my country. And I don't want Rebels in it, so please, go kill yourself. <laughs> or, you know what, better yet, I'll do it for you. I'll do it right for you right now. Okay, and wow, we just took over the Rebel Siege from them. And that just helped us out a ton. Let's see, you guys about ready... Columbia, you about ready to give up. I'm not gonna ask you to do that because I don't know why my I don't know why Chile just like suffered like their own problems because of that because it was kind of stupid to begin with. But let's see. Let's go to Balboa. Uh, becomes a puppet of La Plata. Yay! That's exactly what we wanted. Okay. And because I know that these guys are gonna have some type of rebel problems, problems, I'm gonna keep my troops right here in Cortes de Indias. Or Contatine, I think it's like Contatina de Indias. And basically gonna keep the and there's apparently a chili there's apparently Okay. Sure, why not? Yay, the Chile Argentinian border chili, yay! Does that give me stuff? No. What does that give me? Oh, it gives me just a slight little core on uh, what used to be Brazil. Hmm. What else does it give me? Um still have these cores. Still have the La Plata cores, but I just have a little bit more. How much is this region? Oh, it's just like four provinces. Okay, so there isn't too much worth it. Let's see, who are your allies right now? Peru. Only Peru? Hmm. Okay, as soon as I get my economy back in order, we can start thinking about. We can start thinking about, like, going to war and doing all that kind of stuff. But first, let's get my economy back in order. Let's start, you know. Doing stuff of that magnitude so I can start getting everything fine. Iron Railroad so my stupid capitalists can start doing stuff again. Uh, we now can get Analytical Philosophy, which I'm really going to love to have. And let's see, have we begun yet? So I'm seriously waiting for this to all begin. Like, seriously, I'm waiting. Well, I almost got worried. Integration, yay! Love core integration. Colombia, yeah, you see, this is exactly why... This is exactly... Oh, and the Odie in my sphere. Good job. Okay. Uh, I'm going to keep like a little bit of influence in you guys. That way I can keep some stuff. This is exactly why I kept an army up here. It was because I knew. I just knew it. An ethnic flavor. Oh, I remember this. This is when the people were like... A victory for a tolerant society. Let's see. How much do I owe? Uh, comma. Oh, I owe about 400k. Okay, that's not too bad. I could probably pay that back very, very soon. Um, first thing I'm actually going to do is actually open a lot of these factories, though. Okay. So we need to... I think we need to first get our economy back in order, get everyone more excited about going back to our country again. And then we can start dealing with all the other stuff. Okay, so you guys can now add to my sphere. I'm going to put about one influence into you. And then I also want the other region over here, which is in Benin, I believe. Let's get Ben in next. Um, yeah. Man, I'm so glad I took over this. <laughs> Let's see, do I actually get the event to maybe create Grand Columbia? I mean, Grand Columbia? Because if I could get the event to create Grand Columbia, I would totally create Grand Columbia. Like, seriously, that would make my life so much easier if I could create Grand Columbia. Let's see, there's some people wanting stuff. What do you guys want? Low minimum wage. Um, sure, I can support it right now. That's only because I have a really shaky economy, but you know what? We can support it. Hey, United States, we want to be buddies again. Yeah, sure, boy. We can be buddies. I mean, it's not like we weren't friends before. We we will always, America, we will always be friends. To the day I die, we will always be friends. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. And I believe the next one I'm probably going to go for is a, um, hey, by the way, Columbia, since you guys are my vassals, remember, I can call you in at any point. Uh, okay, okay, um, but anyways, I think the next one I'm gonna go for is Let's see if I call good Cusco Couldn't get I couldn't get the gold mine. I don't think I could get the gold mine from them oh, There's not that many gold mine places. Yeah, they're really not that many gold mine places. Wow Hmm. It's a little bit right here because that's Yeah, 
Um, that of course is the classic Chinese gold place. I might want to go play. I might want to go pay a little visit to China once I get gas attacks. Oh, I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been La Plata's episode of Awesomeness, and I'll see you guys next time.